So for this one, it has these bonds with Macaulay durations, with prices, okay. And the price and Macaulay for both bonds were calculated using this rate and uh, barely estimates the value of this portfolio and an interest rate I using first order approximation to be 105,000. Okay, well, first and foremost is we want to find out what, well, uh, using the first order Macaulay approximation, right? It's, they're saying that they estimate the first order Macaulay approximation to equal this, right? And then it goes on to say that the, um, that, Pond one has a Macaulay duration of seven point twenty eight, and the other, yeah. So the thing is that we want to find out what the price is for the Macaulay approximation. We also want to find out what the max duration of it is, and we also want to find out what the new interest rate is since we already found out what the old is right so from getting arriving to these hands from from the choices here we see that bond one has a macaulay duration of 7.28 right and uh since the duration is already given we could just multiply it by 35k here on the timeline right um, plus the Macaulay duration uh, of 12.2074, right, times 65,000. So this is how we're going to get the Macaulay duration in combined as a total. We set up this whole portfolio equation. And also, since we're already given the prices, this will just represent our present value, right? Because, you know, in terms of everything, we in the old equations, we usually had to discount it by V, but everything is already set up as a present value format because you already know the prices of these bonds. So all you gotta do is just take the price and multiply it by the durations that they give us, right? So let's solve this, right? So I'm gonna do that and do 7.28 um, times 35,000, which is a 254,800. And then this is 65,000 times 12.74, which is 828,100. We add up to 254,800. Then we divide it by 65,000 plus 35,000. And we're going to get uh, 10.829 as the McCoy duration. So that's that. And another thing is that we have to put the price. So the price is just simply the uh, sum of the present values, which is 65,000 plus 35,000, which equals 200,000. Right now, let's solve for i from here. I can move a hundred thousand to the other side. I could do one hundred five thousand divided by a hundred thousand and get one point zero five. Right. I can also move this to the other side by making this as the Macaulay exponent. Right. So I'm going to do it to the power of one over ten point eight two nine. Right which is 1.0045. Then I could move this to the other side as well. So I'm going to keep my hand really strong. So I'm just going to end up doing uh, 1.0045. And then repeat it again by Multiplying it by i. And 
And then we're going to say equal to well, 1.0432. And I'm going to move this to the other side. So we'll do 1.0432 minus 1.0415673. Okay. And then, no, it's 5 actually. Yeah, 1.0. 432 minus 1.0045165 and divided by 1.0045156.75 and then we're going to end up getting 3.85 well I got 0 0.03510424 well you get up 3.85 so that's